Welcome, everyone. Sorry about the uh, problem. <laughs> there, I should be saying now. So this is welcome to our weekly uh, Kingmaker stream. We gather together over our digital campfires to play some evil half-orc. Use our geokinetic knight. So looking forward to this one all week. So let's continue from where we were doing. We're actually going to get to investigate the trolls that we've heard some rumors of. We did kill a couple. Including one branded troll that seemed to be immune to fire for some reason. With that, we're also, I think we're starting off with a little bit of kingdom building. Don't think there's much. Um, go check to make sure we got our uh, alchemist workshop being built so that we can get uh, Boken to be our court alchemist. And of course that opens up some more quests. Okay. So what do we got here? Vent of the month. Got uh, Regengar, our uh, general taking care of an event. Oh, he requests an audience. Okay, we will go back and take care of that. Projects. Research into the nature of curses. Um, okay, so the curse research. There's a particular ending that you need to do curse research for. It gives some minor bonuses, like this divine bonus. But they tend to take a very long time to complete. So unless I'm going for that ending, I don't bother with them. Uh, I know some people do. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with going to them, but I don't bother. Uh, support the counselor's endeavor so we can actually upgrade the counselor. We had an agreement with Yosef Thelemius to get some build points, some financial assistance, but you have to use the rest off Builder's Guild, so all the buildings cost more for her until you pay it back. I don't think it's worth it until we need the funds. And if we get this much funds, we're definitely doing that agreement. It gets a whole bunch more build points per week. Okay. That's it. We killed the Temple of the Elk. Got us some build points. That's the same amount of build points we have right now. And we did take the offer of that High Priest to build a... Uh, Shrine dedicated to Erastil in our capital. That will slowly change from Erastil to, as of right now, probably Asmodeus. Since, uh, we prefer that. But, uh, Asmodeus is the only eagle, legally uh, worshipable evil god in Galarian. In most places, we might be making legal another god. Uh, why can't, oh, there we go. Sorry. Getting the commands mixed up. Okay, so let's look in here. Okay! It'll be built in seven days, so it's already being built. Good. In Restoff's Folly. Any events? He requests an audience. So yeah, all we gotta do is we gotta go back to our main town and see what Reg wants. Where were we going? Uh, I think we might have been coming from there because we killed those uh, boggards last time. Yeah, we did. Okay. Need to catch my breath. Well, we're home, so you can catch your breath at home. Oh, oh, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, but you probably didn't because if you're watching the stream, you know he's staring you in the face. Uh, right here. Give him a little pet. We finally got our mascot. Uh, Tuskutter is here. This is Tuskutter Jr. So as you remember in Kingmaker, uh, a few weeks ago now, one of the quests was Amiri wanted to kill uh, an extra large boar known as Tusk Tuskutter. Well, unfortunately, while it was a wild boar and it was attacking people, we had to put it down. Tuskutter had a child. So I've taken Tuskutter and raised the child. And this is Tuskutter's son, Tuskutter Jr. And he's going to be our mascot for the channel. 
So he'll be doing some botting support. And, uh, yeah, just generally keeping us company as the wonderful boar he is. Okay. So, uh, we'll go straight to the throne room and find know what Reg wants. That scudder doesn't move yet. That is something that might come down the line. But for now, he still speaks in chat. And he's here to keep us company. And just to show off how beautiful he is. Alright, it's probably going to go straight into Reg coming to talk to us, I hope. You busy? No. Then I got something for you. He stretches his shoulders like he's readying for a fight. You may have killed the Stag Lord, but it's too early to kick back and relax. There's still plenty of bandits walking your lands. They still think it's their home. Let me get some more soldiers, before they cut through the ones we have and leave us with nothing. The Half-Orc squints. You know which ones we need. Not the big dumb guys. No, you need fighters who want power. They'll serve you well, and if any should grow too bold... He sneers. I'll hang them from the trees. The, this is a general after my own heart. Exactly what I would have done. Oh, Tuscutter is going to move. Because, yeah, he will give his company over here. Because, Tuscutter, don't block us. You need to be able to see yourself. And you can see the words. So, this is the first time? I don't remember if we had one. No, I think we did the counselor once. So, we have had these before, but not much. But you go over here. So, we get a new project for this one. So, open unrestricted recruitment. Anyone that with the will for it is good enough for our army. Strength in numbers project. Select the strongest and most skillful recruits. We need real fighters. Talented recruits. Project. Select those who have ambition. Soldiers who dream of glory and rank always serve better. That gives us the Ambitious Recruits project. Uh, you do, in general, want to go with your uh, advisors, because keep them happy. I have sometimes, if it doesn't match my alignment at all, or I really disagree, I'll go with another one. But in general, I try to. And this one agrees completely with us. So, yeah, let's go with Ambition. I like your attitude. I'll go get busy. So, we get two ones, uh, two... Uh, Not events, because these aren't events. These are projects. Uh, so one is support the general's endeavors. That's the same one we already have for the counselor, where we can spend two weeks with him and build him up specifically. And we have ambitious recruits. We might spend two weeks here. I know we're going to the trolls are becoming an issue, but I want to build up our kingdom a bit. First, I'm going to rest. Gets rid of our burn, but gets everybody up to snuff. Oh, does anybody have to level? Because I'm not sure if we leveled while we were on the road with somebody left here. Nope. Everybody's good. Good. Oh, occasionally you'll get people leave stuff in your chest. Doesn't happen that often, so I don't think we'll have anything yet. Yeah, no. We do have to sell some junk. But we'll take care of our kingdom first. Jathal, our evil elf. But we got that one. That's a plus one military just for doing that. Anything over 20 we can upgrade now at this point. Community and economy are getting close. Excellent. Want economy up because uh, you get one build he provides one build point per week, but until economy is of that level, you can't do it. So we'll put up military or loyalty now. It'll be two, but it's still only going to give us one until we upgrade economy. So rank up. He's busy anyway. General's already working on the event of the month. Economy. Ambitious recruits. I think, yeah, he has to take care of that one. 
plus two bonus to solve with the general. However, every time it results in a failure or disaster, you lose a military point. But the plus two, that's not going to happen that often. So yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, plus, we're going to be military focused, so makes sense. Hey, you can't see the ones down there. Uh, rank up. But we might support the counselor's endeavors. It is Tristan, but we have no other counselor. Can't get the counselor I want yet. Uh, yeah, so projects. That's it. Research and nature of curses. We could set harem on this. I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, okay. Start project. Eight things came up. Wow. Oh, Bogan. He's court alchemist now. Ancient curse. Okay, so we can talk to them about what happened with the bald hilltop. Loyalty is ranked two. Thanks to the counselor and the baron, subjects loyal to their ruler have reached new heights. So they're more loyal. Oh, he triumphed. Uh, the military parade made the locals proud. How strong the Baron has become over the past few months. A flood of volunteers have joined the army. That's plus four military. Plus one community loyalty and stability. Nice. Many events. <laughs> uh, priest. Okay, we got it. So, mysterious weed. Uh, is it a pro... I gotta wait. Get rid of that. The problem. So, we gotta take care of this. Task for Sweet Teeth. Oh, their Sweet Teeth are back. I can set them on a new quest. Or a new task. They're not really quests. Okay. Aram or Tristan could take care of this. Okay. Mysterious Cult. Aram or Lander could take care of the Mysterious Cult. I have an ambulance going by. Don't know if you can hear that or not. Troublemakers. Unknown troublemakers are spurring people to rebel against their ruler. Crush them. Rumblings of popular discontent can be heard in the capital. Advisors should either answer to the rebel rousers or nip the rebellion in the bud. Yeah, we're going to nip that in the bud. Because that's how we react to those things. Okay, this is why we got to take the trolls. We're going to actually start seeing troll settings. Ugh, so we actually can't nip them in the bud because we have to stop the trolls. Sister. Uh, okay, they want to talk about the bald hilltop. We'll do that. An important visitor has arrived and demands an audience at once. I don't know what that one is. Heartbroken Mother. I do know what this one is. The quest. Okay. So we have to take care of some things. So Tristan. Aram. Lander. Yeah. Well, Lander's not bad. He'll take care of that as well. 55%. The problem. I'm going to increase that to 80 I'm actually going to use that yet. I'm just testing the water safe. Oh, 85. I'm not worried about that one. Uh, Mysterious Cult. Aram, 70. Yeah, we're going to risk that. Tristan, 70. Okay, yeah. Like we got six, but I don't want to use all our crisis points. Okay. We could upgrade... Well, we just upgraded him. We could upgrade military, but he's got stuff to do. So I'm not going to do it yet. And we're going to go take care of those trolls. Then we'll upgrade military. Okay, so go for the him. Serious weed. Take care of those troublemakers. I guess we'll appease them because the military is busy with the trolls. Okay. I'm um, not worried about the bald hilltop. We will do that. I'm, I'm curious what this one is. To the throne room. I don't think it actually matters. I think it automatically does them in the same order anyway, but. Yeah, I'll try. Maybe it does matter. Stefano Mosconi. Stefano Mosconi. The man before you reeks of vanity. His black hair is curled, styled, and generously waxed, from the hair atop his head to the points of his mustache. His cheeks and forehead are powdered white, giving him a pallid look. His hand rests casually on the golden hilt of his rapier. As he approaches, a mean, sly smile appears on his face, clearly practiced and prepared in advance. Ah, the ruler of this barony. I'm flattered by your attention. Sir Stefano Mosconi of Patax at your service. That man performs a derisive bow. 
Um. <laughs> I can just say right off the bat. Don't like the direction this is going. We'll speak later. He hasn't said anything other than being to Rizov yet. Alright. What brings a Pataxian noble to my barony? I was just traveling back home to glorious Patax after paying a visit to Rastoff, all in service to King Castruccio el Irveti. I thought I might take a day to visit the capital of Patax's bold new neighbor. Then grin he sniffs and grins. I must say, I really should have spared myself the trouble. It's hardly worth seeing. Alright. No chaotic evil. Chaotic neutral, I'd watch my tone if I were you, lest I send you to back to Patax sooner than you planned. Or neutral evil, I'd watch my tone if I were you, lest I send you back to Patax in a box. Or perhaps several boxes. Yep. And now we resort to insults. Hardly surprising. <sighs> Perhaps his rapier. Well, you aren't worth the glove it would take to challenge you. Besides, you probably just run off and hock it. It's easily worth twice what you've got in the throne room. Oh, he's asking for it. He stares at you and snorts. You'd know. The initial goal of my visit was to take measure of your so-called barony, to see if you had anything of value to offer to Patax. And do you know what I found? Nothing. You have absolutely nothing to offer. He continues without giving you a chance to respond. Military? Weak. Culture? Weak. Economy? Weak. You'd best pray to all the gods that my king Yeravedi doesn't declare war on you. On the other hand, maybe you should pray he conquers you. This mess of a barony could use the rule of a proper king. Alright, another word, and I'll send you to the gallows. Oh, I'll be on my way. Don't you worry. If I were to stay any longer, I fear I might pick up fleas, or lice, wherever else passes for subjects in this place. Take care. No need to see me off. Okay, if this was my real D&D &D character, he would not be walking out that door. Alright, Jenna. The well, pleasant woman, her face soaked with tears, approaches you quickly. Oh, your grace, woe is me. I've met my darkest hour. You are my last hope. By all the gods ever prayed to, don't leave me in need. My name is Jenna, Jenna Tannerson. Our village is a short way from here. It'd be two days since my boy, Tig, ran away, and I haven't seen him since. We've searched and searched, but it's no use. You don't find him, no one else will. Hey, Wiccan, how's it going? We're just hearing our subjects complain. Um. Alright, so kid escaped. We don't care, but do people disappear frequently? They sure do. There's so many hazards around. Hard to name them all. Wild beasts in the forest and monsters and some... Troblins? I don't know what troblins are. And bandits and whatever. Even adults have a hard time surviving here. And for a little kid... Oh. I cannot see my chat for a second. Sorry. Oh, there we go. Now I can actually see my chat. I was only catching half of what you said. Uh, going well. Excellent, man. Glad to hear that. What you been up to? Anything much on the go? Thanks for the help. As you can see, Tuskutter has joined us for our stream. He's standing next to his master. Um, I don't have time for this or I'll try to find him. I want to do the quest because it's experience. But I'm evil. So I don't have time for this. Of course, of course, you're so busy. But if you find the time, I still have a little bit of money left to pay the for a Roman tavern. Please, I beg you, don't leave us in need. Okay, I get plus one loyalty. Okay, so even if you say stuff like that, I've, I always play good characters, so... My first evil one in this game. Well, this far anyway. Well, I appreciate that. Your banner's up too. I'm not sure if you can see it. Depends on what you're watching on. But I used the banner that you gave me. And it looks awesome. Oh, 
still fun. I haven't played Red Dead. It looks really good. And I'm stoked too. Uh, I'm well. I'm doing this until then. But this is my favorite gaming day of the week because I get to play Kingmaker, my favorite game, and then I play Among Us with the bunch, and it's awesome. Jod Crafton, Your Grace, we are victorious. We fought off the spider invasion and defeated the strange dryad who led them. As a sign of gratitude, your subjects have a special reward for you. Eh, 2,800 gold, not bad. I wonder, was this flood of spiders truly caused by that curse? I mean, the curse must be ancient and very ominous. The spiders were definitely scary as well, but they weren't ancient and ominous. I agree with Lindsay. This does seem strange. Seems more like the plot of an insane dryad than a true curse. Then how can we explain the dismal atmosphere on the bald hilltop? The pressure both of us felt there, Jod? Maybe the curse drove the poor dryad insane, causing her to lead the spider invasion into the barony. In any case, I have alarming news. As soon as the spider invasion was over, I visited the bald hilltop again. It's grown quiet once more, and just as gloomy as before. I don't think the curse is broken, just laying low, low like a monster that rests before it feeds again. What? Again? I am sorry for bringing the bad news. Unfortunately, we failed to defeat the curse for good. Alright, I want to deal with it once and for all. What do you recommend? Yes, let's level the bald hilltop to the ground and put an end to the curse. I like the way you think, Lindsay. Really? Bot that affects the gameplay scene from your perspective. Interesting. I made a... After we're done, because I'm not going to cheat like that, I might watch your streams VOD and see, see how it looks. Check it out. I got a few things I'm working on. I've managed to get my bits up to over 3,000 again. But I got a tender for my Wi-Fi, which helps. So yeah, like Lindsay said, let's crush this. Kristen, I doubt that we will be able to beat it in such a straightforward fashion. The heart of the curse is undoubtedly centered on the bald hilltop, but the spiders appeared all throughout the barony. I don't think we are going to do any damage to the curse by destroying the hilltop. I would expect exactly the opposite. We'd only provoke it into attacking again, immediately on the hill heels of the last. No, the best we can do for now is to make sure we're prepared for the next attack. Don't be such a pessimist, Tristan. We might truly be able to overcome the curse, but only by studying it thoroughly. Your Grace, I will gather all the information available on this situation and get to work. So yeah, we could study that too, but again, like I said, it doesn't actually, the study doesn't do so much. Not that I've seen. Uh, so how much time do we have? Oh, a fair amount. I'd say a half a year, or even more. Now that the bald hill top is quiet again, I can barely feel its evil will. I'm sure we'll have enough time to prepare for the next attack. So hopefully we can get rid of the trolls and then focus on building up the barony for the next attack. Alright, so let's prepare for the next attack. Very well. If only we knew more about the curse, we might figure out some way to fight it. There's a way to fight it. But I'm not getting into it with him. I'm not supposed to know yet. Lindsay frowns. I don't understand. I spoke to the locals. They never had any spider invasions before. Another, and nothing ever happened on the bald hilltop before, either. Now both spiders and the curse. Right when the new barony appeared in the Stolen Lands. All of this seems highly coincidental. I agree. Okay. Enough for the chatting. I hear the next game, Wrath of the Righteous, actually has more voice acting, which would be nice for some of those things. Checking our inventory. Oh yeah, we need to empty out some inventory. Oh, what's going on? There we go. Oh wow. Yeah, we need to sell a bunch of junk. 
Um, we have the ones that aren't with us. Okay, yeah, so we can pass out cloaks of resistance to everybody. And rings of protection. All the ones we plan to use. Um, what's her AC? Ring of protection, dexterity bonus. As long as it's a plus four. Bombardier, I'm actually keeping that. Max dex is plus two. Oh, wow. Give her 20 AC. That helps. I do want to use a Panera soon. But Kaliki, her sister. Um, she has a chain shirt plus one. Oh, she's got AC of 22. She's good. Uh, Tristan. Can't use armor. He has a magical... Scimitar. Oh, give him a cloak of resistance. Not gonna use him. Guess I'll give him a ring of protection anyway. Oh, I should have done that with her too. Lindsay. She, she doesn't have them either. Wow. We were using Lindsay for a bit. I guess it was before we got magical stuff. And Valerie. Yep, same thing. <laughs> Valerie's will save still suck. Really, like, I used Valerie in my last playthrough, and she's really hard to hit physically, but she's so easy to take over and, like, turn her against you. Or, like, hold person or her stuff. Uh, that's garbage. Savage bow I'm keeping for somebody else. That's garbage. That's garbage. Just sell that. Sell that. Keeping that. Okay. Uh, see if we get anything to get the storyteller. I don't think we have anything. Maybe a few tokens. Um, relics. Any word of your story? Hey, okay, pay, pay, pays us for some more Torag's pendant. More tokens of the dire I add. Oh now, here is something truly impressive. These ones belong to a dwarven smith. Uh yeah, we need all five though of the soot items. We don't have them yet. That's it. Uh do I have any cards of a necklace of double cross? It fit into my hand. Oh, so the necklace of double crosses. We have all the pieces, the fragments. The story will amuse you, impress you, give you some food for thought. Okay. Oh, you have found the shards of the Trailblazer's helm. Oh, we have all them. If reforged, such a helm would serve you well. It would also share its story with us. For that, I will gladly take up the Smith's hammer once more. Find the remaining of the ten shards and bring them. Okay, we don't have all the parts of the Trailblazer. Forest Knight's Bracers. Yeah, we need ten shards. Yeah, the Cloak of salt, Sold Souls. You don't get all those until way later. 15 pieces. Scraps of Armor of Sabertooth Courage. A Kelid Relic. The Barbarians. Need 16 fragments. That's pretty late, too. And we got a piece of the Snar Commander's Glove. Uh, how many pieces do I need? 17. That'll take a while. Actually, I love that item, though. Alright. So what is your answer? Will you entrust me with this treasure? Store the necklace of double crosses. Do it. Storytell holds the pieces of metal carefully in his hands. I shall begin. Not every legend speaks of heroic feats. Some tell of atrocities and wicked things. I will breathe my gift into this necklace, and it may tell you something of itself. Yeah. So with the artifacts, there's only a little snippet like that. But then you get the item. Here it is. So this amulet grants its bearer a plus four bonus to trickery, stealth, and mobility. Their melee attacks against flat-footed opponents yield 2d6 sneak attack damage. So if you get somebody flat-footed, they'll do an extra 2d6 sneak attack. When an ally moves away from the wearer in battle, the amulet forces the wearer to make an attack of opportunity against the ally. So that's the issue. However... 
if you're not using a melee weapon, it doesn't come in, it doesn't happen. So I think that's the best thing to do. Oh, I just realized you can't actually see our AC down here. Uh, here, I put it up here. Now you can read it. It's up there. It's 27. No real good place to put Tusk Gutter for that. Because he's going to block something no matter where he is. But I'll just let you know. But Necklace Double cross Crosses, it really boosts Trickery. So I think the best thing to do is boost Octavia's Trickery skill. It will reduce her AC's only 17. And that's with an amulet of natural armor. So it'll drop to 16. The truth is, I'm not worried about the extra sneak attack damage. That's not really why I'm putting it on. It's for the trickery bonus. Because now, her trickery... For, yeah, plus 20 to unlock stuff. Plus 4 for dexterity. Plus 3 because it's a class sill. Plus 4 from the necklace. And plus 3 because she has skill focus trickery. So yeah. That's a nice skill. And actually, skill focus trickery, doesn't that go up once we're over a certain amount? Uh, spell focus, skill focus. Oh, wait, that should be here. Oh yeah, but it's not a feat. It's her uh, half L. There it is. It's her half L skill. All half elves have a skill focus. And no more ranks equals to plus six. Yeah, we can get really high trickery with her. That's why I'm so tempted to keep her. Oh. I want Kanera. Mostly because we're in a relationship with her now. She's a magic user. I want Reg. I think we might have to drop Amiri. Uh, I know Amiri's really powerful. She's doing some of our most damage right now. But I think we're going to drop Amiri. Or in general. Doesn't mean we won't ever use her. Like, we're always going to bring people for their quests and stuff, but I think we're going to drop Amiri for a little while. Oh, wow. I just realized we're way overloaded. Heavy. Cumbrance. Oh, it's the heavy armor. This way, fifty pounds. Yeah. Is there any? He has that. Oh, physical perfection. He mostly is going to, is a caster, so I'm not so worried about it. Maybe if I gave him dexterity instead. At least gets me down to medium. Armor check. Ice 3, excluding shield, because shield gives you... Wow. Max dex bonus. Well, that is fine. That is our dex bonus. Like 38 hours. But now, 38 hours, what's that compared to hers? Uh Oh no, con is what I'm wondering. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm actually not gonna do that yet. I'm going to wait and see on something. Uh we'll give the sweet teeth another Ask to take care of. And we're going to sell off the junk. Because I am I know the stuff we bought does influence our weight. I'm just not sure how much. There we go.
I'm gonna lose volume for a second, just to let you know. Oh. Oh no. Okay. Yeah. Thought the game crashed for a second. It didn't. It's just being slow loading the capital. There's a lot goes on in the capital, so the capital can be pretty slow to load sometimes. Come on. You can do it. You can load. <laughs> I get kicked out of how long it takes sometimes. Yeah, so what are we going to do now? So we're going to... Yeah, it is. This is a really deep story. Actually, that's the big thing with this game. It's my favorite part of it. The story is so in-depth. Uh, It goes right... There's actually a lot of things happening now that have consequences in the end game and you don't even realize it until you get there. So this is still only the second chapter. <laughs> oh my. You know what? I just realized they removed the little crown symbol. They used a little crown symbol here that would like be ticking away to show you that everything was moving. They removed it. It was completely unreliable, so it never really made much difference. I just noticed they removed it. They've had a couple of big patches in the last couple of weeks, like one gig each. But yeah, no, so we're going to sell off junk, give the sweet teeth 